Yeah, you know, it's a big deal just getting here and then um, being able to, to contribute like that. Um, I know he was still thinking about the one he had an opportunity on the first, um, but did a great job taking what they were giving him right there. And, uh, yeah, not many guys on their major league debut get to have the winning run batted in, walked in. So happy for him. Just good to have him here. Uh, get a guy making his major league debut like that, standing up there with the bases loaded and the opportunity. I mean, how impressive is it that he didn't, you know, go up there kind of swinging, I guess. Yeah, he, he actually did um, in that last inning show a lot of poise. I mean, some pretty close pitches and uh, took took him really well. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to just watch him a little bit more just to see what we see. And made a nice play down the line, really got to it quick. A uh, nice, accurate throw and seemed to track everything well in the outfield. Came in on one really well. Um, but, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's I imagine will go down as one of the best days in his baseball life, and uh, we always want that to be the case when you get up here because it's it's uh, it's worth the fight, and uh, it's been a long one for him, and I know he's excited to be here. How do you handle something like that with a young guy first day, and he's not someone you really have been around or, or met? You just let him be on his own. Any words of advice going up there in the eighth inning? You just let it happen. No, we we really don't over um, overthink it for him. We want him to just go up and do what they've done their whole life, and from the beginning, he, he comes in and he's just starting to get himself introduced to everybody, and we let him know. Uh, he and I have talked on the phone. That's the first time we've met face to face, and uh, just making sure he knew how happy we are to have him and I don't think he was anticipating playing today and I know some of his family was hung up whether they get here or not but I just told him we brought him here for a purpose and that's to, to play to help us win and so uh, he I think he uh, I think he felt that I think he felt really excited and wanted to be here uh, he knew he was wanted inside this clubhouse and we've been looking forward to, to seeing him and that's always a good place to be and then just go do your thing and you know at that point when he goes up for that last at bat um, you know, to give him anything more than what our hitting guys give him, uh, that would be counterproductive. Just go, go be yourself, go do what you do, and and uh, good things will happen. Any update on Benny? Yeah, just uh, they came back and uh, they they got some pictures. Said you got some right shoulder soreness. Um, Going to kind of get another look and talk with the doctor still. Mike, you were right out there. It looked like when you, when you saw it happen. Could you? Did you hear something from? Did he yell or anything? He looked like he was in immediate pain when he went up. Yeah, and no, I just I saw him react as he was getting down the line, and then once he hit the bag, and I just wanted to um, kind of make sure. We've had a couple times where something will kind of get a, that stinger, uh, which we thought might have been at first, but then it just wasn't backing off. But uh, once again, um, doctors will give us some sort of formal medical term for what's going on. But um, just saw him. He, he said uh, he said he's better now, and we'll see. We'll let the doctors make that decision. Defense as a whole today, and some of the plays Nikki made at short, um, just how impressive. What, yeah. Nikki Blake made two great plays and then caught a 118 mile an hour line drive, which I don't, might be the hardest ball we've seen hit this year. And uh, it was good for him, that he was in the right place. Um, and a real nice play by Massey up the middle, too. Uh, so some, some good defense. Michael almost with a good play. I think he thought he had that ball, um, or else uh, the second run probably doesn't score in that spot. But, you know, also um, the bullpen came in and did a great job. You know, Carlos getting us out of a mess. And then Dylan coming in. Uh, those guys have been getting some work. Um, been a long run, and I've talked about it a lot because it needs to be talked about. Those guys are on point just about every night. And then Amir in a uh, real tough spot. But we had other guys that were down. We needed him to come through right there and um, then hand it off to Scott to do his thing. What did you see from Daniel today? Yeah, just he wasn't sharp from the start, even his bullpen. Um, a lot of misses in the middle and had a hard time. I mean, this is we're starting to get towards a part of the year that, that these guys have never been to before. And so uh, we're going to have to continue to keep an eye on him and just watch how his body in general and his strength are, are uh, rebounding from start to start. But, uh, you know, it just looked like uh, he was a little heavy today. Like, uh, just didn't have that have that life, didn't have the, the location. And usually that means that they're grinding a little bit. So we'll see how he uh, how he responds, but everything feels good, which is the good news. Um, but just the location wasn't sharp today.